everybody! And I'm here with you today to talk about the new feature released for Adobe Photoshop 2023. Let's see that we want to use this image for our campaign. And we love this lovely model, but we really don't like the background because we need to use our brand backdrop. Thanks to the brand new uh, Photoshop 2023 feature enhancement, you will be able to simply use the any of the selection tools. In particular here, I'm going to go ahead and select the object selection tool. We'll look at the image. So at the moment, it's already scanning. Can you see there? It's already thinking. You can go ahead and simply make sure that you have the objects finder ticked. Whenever you go ahead and you hover on an image, you will see that we can select the background or automatically the subject. There are two ways in which you can go ahead and activate and work with this select subject. You can leverage the power of your device. So you're working on your machine using the power of your machine, which guarantees much faster results with your selection, or you can leverage the power of the cloud. Working with the cloud, it takes a little bit longer, but the details are astonishing. So if you're really looking for sophisticated, complex selection, I would strongly recommend to use the cloud as a starting point for your work. Also remember, this isn't always not a sticky option. It will go back every time to whatever you have selected as a default. You can look at your default in the, the preferences. This image processing here, the device will be the, the one that is always default. You can change it here. If you wish to work with a cloud on default, go ahead and click on cloud. Otherwise, remember, even if we change it from the option bar, once we click on it, and we use it, it's not sticky. So we'll go back to your default. Here you will see a lot of uh, processing details, which will be implemented the more we uh, start to see more features that are powered from our artificial technologies. And I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Again, here, I'm going to make sure that this time I'm going to select cloud. I'm going to click on our lovely model and you will see that it will take a second now to make the selection. All I'm left to do is to head at the bottom of my layers panel. And here at the bottom of the layers panel, we have this little icon which is our layer mask. In fact, by clicking first on the layer that you wish to use and then clicking on the layer mask icon, you will be able to use the selection and to mask your subject. We can simply move back and uh, add a solid color or maybe a gradient, whatever you prefer. And look at that. If you're still not happy with it and perhaps you want to get rid of the little fuzz, super easy. Simply go ahead and select your mask. You can go ahead and either move the feather. You can decide if you want to a little bit more, a little bit less, or you can select the select and mask workspace and there you have a little bit more option to work with. So for example, you can smooth your selection a little bit more if you wish to do so and you can induce a little bit more contrast so you have less of these white edges if you want to do. It's one of my favorites and I'm actually going to use the lovely River, my new adopted baby here. I found this photo so successful to introduce the brand new feature. The reason why I'm getting all these selections is because I have object selection tool clicked and selected inside my toolbar. I have my object finder ticked and selected inside my option bar. Photoshop has done all the thinking already and all I have to do is on hover, I'm able to select anything I want. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on the little ball. All I've done is to click on the actual thing that I want to remove to select it. All I'm doing is have one finger on the shift key, one finger on the delete key. And look what happens with the shift de delete key, the ball will pew, vanish and the selection that was there where the ball existed a long time ago was replaced by different areas that Photoshop and Adobe Sensei, Adobe Artificial Intelligence looks for inside your photo. We have also the option of selecting the sky, but you know there already. We had that amazing feature we introduced last year. We can go ahead, click on sky replacement tool. Have a look at there since it was already selected and you will see, look at that. We have all the lovely hair on top of river, beautiful ears that get replaced real quick. You will see that not only we can choose the sky, but you can choose a bunch of different skies you can match it as much as you want uh, to your photo you can perhaps have some clouds or maybe make it a sunset here you can just simply change move the preview you can add your own sky as well which is pretty pretty amazing you can change your selection. You can shift the edge of your selection. So can you see that we have more or less around the hair? You can fade it a little bit. In this case, maybe with the hair, you want to fade it around. You can scale it so you can basically reposition it depending on the actual photo point of view of the photo. You can adjust the colors. It matches the actual image. You can light the edges or make it darker. Light actually the foreground so it actually matches better. The background in this case, I'll probably make it a little bit darker. Also the brightness. Go ahead 
ahead and choose the output. So you can output, output it to a new layer or duplicate the layer. Select duplicate. If you are following and you're not seeing all the changes happening live, it's because perhaps you preview is not able, enabled. Look at the difference there. Have a wonderful day. Ciao.